Hello friends, my name is Rudan VS. You are watching me on Techmarize YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to list out the best laptop under 75,000 rupees in India for programmers. So without any delay, let's get started. The question is, what are the things we should really concentrate on for laptops that are mainly used for programming? The laptop should have a decent enough keyboard. Some people prefer using external keyboard. This may not be applicable to them. Still, while traveling, you may not be able to carry your external keyboard with you. So in that case, the laptop should have a decent enough keyboard. It must have a good amount of RAM, 8 GB at least and possible option to expand if needed. Because you may want to create a virtual machine to test your program in different operating system or your program may use a lot of RAM. So the RAM should not be a limiting point. The preferred storage type is SSD and should have a good amount of storage to have multiple partitions because if you mess up something like OS gets crash and all, you should have something to go back to. High performing CPU. The CPU need not be top notch like i9 but it should not be a bottleneck and if you are someone who does graphical designs then you should have a good GPU and a screen that have good color representation. But for today's list, I am leaving that graphical design is out. They could always go for a gaming PC and it should do the job. The laptop should be very lightweight so that we can easily carry it around. And lastly, a decent enough battery is required. So with all these checks, I have prepared a list of laptops that are best for programming which is available in India under 75,000 rupees. Since I don't want this video to go on forever, I have shortlisted to just 3 laptops, the best 3 laptops for programmers. And the links for all the laptops in this video will be given in the description. At number 3 spot, we have ASUS VivoBook 15. So let's look at the specification. The laptop have an 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD storage with 1TB of HDD storage. It is powered by Core i7 8 gen processor which can turbo boost up to 4.6GHz. It have a 15.6 inch screen weighing around 1.7 kg overall. The battery is a 2 cell battery which have fast charging in it. We have 2 GB of NVIDIA GeForce MX250 in this laptop and the cost of this laptop is 71,400 rupees. There are multiple variants of ASUS VivoBook 15. Some variants are without SSD and some have higher capacity of SSD. So if you find the prices very different to what I have given in this video, just refine your search for the exact specification I have given. At number 2 spot, we have HP Pavilion X360 with Core i5 10th Gen. This is a 2-in-1 laptop which means you can fold this laptop and use as a tablet. I have reviewed one of the older models of this laptop in this channel. I will leave the link in the description also in the i button above. So you can check that out. The older model I have reviewed is a bit slow. The older model had i3 and 7th Gen. But in new model, we have i5 10th gen processor and over and above it have SSD. So with this combination, I am definitely expecting very high performance hike from the older model. The laptop have an 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD storage with 1TB of HDD storage. It is powered by Core i5 10th gen processor which can turbo boost up to 4.2GHz. It have a 14 inch screen which is weighing around 1.59kg. The battery is a 3 cell battery with very good battery backup. I have personally used the older version and it gave very good battery backup. It is a 2 in 1 laptop which I have already explained and it have an integrated graphics card. The cost of this laptop is 71,000 rupees 990. So at number 1 spot our best pick MSI Modern 14. Let's look at the specification. This laptop have an 8 GB of RAM. 512GB of SSD storage which is powered by Core i7 10th gen processor which can turbo boost up to 4.9GHz. The laptop is having a 14 inch screen with 1.19kg which is very light in all the comparison I have made. And it have a 4 cell battery with very good battery backup. It also have a 2GB of NVIDIA GeForce MX250 graphics card. The cost of this laptop is 74,990 rupees. There is a cheaper model of MSI Modern 14 available, costing around 60,000 rupees. The difference is, it does not have a dedicated graphics card which we have in this uh, laptop and it also have i5 10th gen processor, whereas in this laptop we have i7 10th gen. So the difference is subtle, but we will get high performance in this i7 laptop. 
if you don't want to go for this i7 laptop and your budget is around 60,000 rupees, that is the best lap to go for. So that's it friends, thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting or informative, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also click on that bell icon so you will get notified about the latest tech videos whenever I upload. Goodbye, see you on the next video.